that. see it's a young bull he's uh, got the pedicles already started where he's getting ready to grow his new antlers I don't know there's definitely something wrong with this guy that's too bad he is just uh, I don't know he doesn't look good I might call fish and game just to let him know. This guy doesn't look like he's uh, all worn out from uh, ticks. The one I saw pictures of the other day, his, you could see his hide was just raw. But this guy definitely looks like there's uh, got an issue. Leave him be. So you can see that young bull moose sitting right right there. I mean, he's 15 yards off the road and he hasn't moved since I got here. So I just called my buddy, the local chief of police and uh, he's calling uh, our other buddy, Josiah, who's a local uh, fish and game officer. And he'll come and take a look. See, I can't tell if this thing has been hit by a car or injured or what but uh, he's certainly not acting right so we'll see what happens uh, I really hate to see this you know there's a moose laying on the side of the road right here just you know, like three quarters of a mile from my house I saw some tracks in the backyard yesterday actually when I was uh, cutting through uh, by the pond that were fairly fresh and I'm sure it's this young bull so I called my buddy, the chief of police. He's heading over this way. He's also contacted our local uh, conservation officer, Josiah, and they'll come over and determine what's uh, what's the dish, the issue with this uh, with this moose. Definitely something wrong with him. He's not acting right. Hmm. Too bad. He's laying right there about, go, just go past that pine. You'll see him, Dave. Let's go talk to Davey. back to the ranch well things just got real with that moose situation my buddy the chief just called me and uh, fish and game showed up and that moose is ate up with ticks and they're gonna have to put him down they tried to get up and move and just kind of stumbled around so they're gonna put him down uh, they asked me if I wanted him and I said you bet and so I'm gonna load up and get the trailer down there and go pick him up uh, a little complication is I just called my buddy who's a uh, uh, butcher local butcher and uh, his wife said he's out of town and gone for a week so looks like I'm gonna be cutting that thing up myself and I don't dare bring him home with all the ticks on him so looks like we'll be cutting him up out on the road all right well fish and game showed up and looks like I've inherited a moose so I'm loading up the trailer I'm going to get a come along and they're going to put it down and I'm going to cut it up, fill my freezer and a couple buddies freezers. <laughs> hate that's the ending. I was hoping that thing would get up and go, but hate to see it go to waste as well. So it is what it is. <laughs> Have 
Well, going for. let's look at this moose because it uh, it's been pretty eat up with ticks. I mean, you guys don't believe what I'm talking about when I say our moose population has been ate up with ticks. Well, right now, obviously, our moose population is we can see with this one they they get an infestation of ticks. Winter tick is what we call it. So this moose is pretty much probably anemic, and then. Being that it's now it's the start of spring all winter long, it's been dealing with this. Just kind of, it's using its energy to survive the winter, and then all these ticks are taking its blood as well. Yeah, so it's rough for it. It's hard for them to to make it through. And uh, I don't know. So adults usually do pretty well. This one seems a, like a little bit younger of a moose. So he's just got so many ticks on him. Yeah, I, I figured when I saw it, it was probably a year and a half old, or maybe yeah. a two and a half year old at the most. Yeah, it's got pretty good sized pedicles on him. But I'm going to take this thing down to the pit and I'm going to do gutless uh, uh, butchering of him and bring the quarters home because if I took that moose home as he is, my wife would kill me for dropping off all the ticks. So we'll, uh, we'll show you more of that later. Thanks, John. All right. <laughs> That's my buddy, the local chief of police, who you can tell is not from this country, right? John told me everything I knew. Yeah, <laughs> all right. All right. We're going to try to get this thing processed and make some use of it so it doesn't get wasted. Oh, you people just really aren't going to believe what this moose looks like. And I probably should have given it a second thought, but look at those ticks. The inside of the legs, I mean, this thing is covered with ticks. And uh, I'm going to try to do it gutless method and get as much meat off of this thing as I can. But, man, it is nasty. I'm not going to show any of that. So we'll see you in a bit. All right. Well, I got the front shoulder cut off on one side. I got the rear quarter cut off. I got one side of the back strap cut out, and that's with the same knife blade that I used to skin my last deer. So I'm putting a new one on. All right, new knife blade, my outdoor edge. Now I gotta flip this baby over. Guesstimated this moose weighs about somewhere between 550 and 600 pounds. Just a year and a half, maybe two and a half year old moose. Uh, amazed that I haven't got any ticks on me yet. So. so this was the moose that we saw here in town. Look at this shoulder, covered with ticks. He has rubbed his hide raw trying to get the ticks off him so we did this moose a favor i know that is gross but the meat is still going to be good all right well i got the two hind quarters off back strap and the meat from the front shoulders and i'm whipped as you can see i was fighting the snow i was all by myself probably wasted a lot of meat but a good majority of that meat's not going to go to waste so i got to get the uh plow off the tractor put the bucket on and then i'm going to go grab that thing and and uh it's still sitting on my trailer down at the pit i was told a place where i could uh what i could dump the rest of the carcass so gotta take care of that <laughs> it was uh, a little bit more than i bargained for but uh, that's all right. All right, well, I got permission to dump the uh, carcass and I uh, threw it over the bank there. Coyotes will feast on it, I'm sure, in the next uh, few days after the snow. And I wouldn't be surprised within a few weeks, every bit of that moose is gone. Where I'm at right here, there's a lot of coyotes, so. Getting a free meal.
that moose taken care of just in time. The storm is uh, starting to crank up a little bit. 